last drive-in theaters in Florida is back open after widespread flooding in Ocala. That flooding has receded, but TV20's Emma Delamo tells us they are struggling to stay above water financially. The old cliche that the show must go on is not a cliche with my family. It's a way of life. John Watsky operates one of the few drive-in theaters left in the state. The owner tells me he's noticed a difference in how many cars are pulling in to watch a movie. The Ocala drive-in was forced to shut down last month due to flooding. And we worry every time it rains a little bit, you know, because uh, it's going to take the time for the whole area to dry up. Watsky says he lost two weeks of primetime business when summer blockbusters are released and tourists visit on vacation. He's noticed less people stopping by and worries social media posts may be to blame. I think the, the main issue right now is they've seen so much water here that uh, they assumed we, uh, we were going to be down for a long time. But, uh, you know, because the way it looked from the pictures, you know, it looked like my concession and everything was flooded, but we had built a levee around it. The drive-in is operating again since the concession and projection rooms were safe from the storms. One mother says she's happy to hear everything worked out. I didn't know it closed down. Um, it was funny because we were talking about doing that with the kids this summer. Like, that would be a fun thing to do, and I keep saying, like, I need to see what they're playing. So I'm glad that they're back open. Both screens and the concession stand are open, but the game room still needs a makeover before it can reopen to guests. Reporting in Ocala, Emma Delamo, TV 20 News.